Okay, our first job is to convert from a free hole system to a four hole system, which speed plate operate on. Okay, so what you've got here when you're setting up the base plate is this is the quite a lot of four aft movement you got. So if like Katie you had your uh, cleats set all the way backwards to begin with, you want to make sure you do this on the base plate because that's the opportunity to do it with speed plate. So here's your four aft adjustment. If you want your cleats all the way back, remember cleats all the way back means that your foot's forward. That's generally a safe place to be if you get knee pain because it means you're not getting the really large patellofemoral or kneecap compressive forces. And then we just tighten up on this. Um, so you may notice I've just put this bit, uh, base plate straight on and it does have a wedge here that, that, that makes the base plate match the curvature of the bottom of the, uh, the cycling shoe. And they do provide other wedges that allow you to attach the base plate to different shaped shoes. And there's a good guide in the information there where you can see that. It'll tell you which wedges to use which shoes. So the first thing to note is when you set them up that speed play are labeled right and left. So make sure you get them right and they enter from one side. So this is completely different to like a Shimano look, which are relatively easy to put on. Um, you need to get it right. So this is the right shoe, turn it over. And we're going to put the right cleat here because this is where the pedal will be coming from the inside. Okay. Once we understand that, we can put the, we're just going to put these screws in here and get it set up. So as we put the base plate on there, that determines our fore aft and gives us loads of range there where we would like that um, you know the pedal to come in and uh, in, engage with the cleat. What we got here now, as you can see with speed is the what you got is the side to side. You know. So basically, if we put this here, it's a bit of an oxymoron, but you push the cleat all the way across here, that moves the foot out that allows you to drop your heel in and not hit the crank so this is basically moved off stance width wider but if you want to be much more narrow just go over there and you can see lots of variability there if you're someone who drops your heels in and hits the crank all the time though i'd recommend that you move this towards here and therefore you've got the room to do that when we come to adjusting this uh, the float on the pedal just a little tip is that as you're tightening up these small screws make sure you get a little bit and a little bit on each one as you go if you tend to tighten up the two at the top or this one it's really hard to get this one on the bottom it's just one of those four balls of this system but if you gradually advance them all a couple of turns couple of turns you'll get a nice firm closure so basically um we've replicated your quite far back when we put the base plate on the you know cleats all the way back you know so basically you've got your knee well clear of your foot in terms of knee forward of foot which is one of those measures that we use in bike fit um what i've done here is just moved the cleat towards the um, inside which moves your foot out so you've got that enables me to make sure that we've got room to allow your heel to come in towards the crank if it wants to, okay? And the last thing you do on speed play is you now have the heel out and the heel in. These two stoppers, basically you can then change them to allow you to do drop your heels in more or move your heel out. So you can have all the float you want in the world or you can have none of the float in the world or you can determine where you sit. In other words, a little bit of float, but it's allowing the heel to drop in. That's the uh, complexity, but also the beauty of the system, if you ask me. So just to recap, when you put the base plate on, converting from a free hole to a, the four hole speed plate system, that's your opportunity to move the, um, the base plate fore and aft, which enables you to get the pedal in the right place on your shoe. And then when you put these four screws on, that's the opportunity on this particular thing to move that side to side. So it's increasing your stance width or moving the cleat closer to the inside of the shoe. And lastly, the magic of speed plate, these two stoppers here, they move in and out, we can adjust them to allow you loads of float or zero float in the middle fixed or the float where you want it. So it might be like you want to drop your heel in, but you don't want it to come out too much. And that's where we get to the adjustment phase. So Speedpro, the first thing first is the engagement's really different. It's, it takes a little bit to get used to, right? So right now, what I want you to do is push one foot down to the bottom of the pedal stroke. And now I want you to stand up on that pedal and move it in and out as much as you can, and you might hear a clip. Now, most people take about 20 minutes to learn how to do this, but I reckon you'll get it quick, Katie. When you're there, you put all your weight on, and you go like, there. Oh, booty hell. Yeah, so it's a really firm close, yeah? Now, just stop and move your feet in and out, see how much float that loads, yeah? All, all right. oh. So that one's come out, good. That's how you disengage. Okay, so we're gonna adjust Katie's cleats here now, and basically, we're going to dial in the heel in a little bit so you don't find yourself hitting the 
crank, so you just advance that stopper a little bit. But I'm going to leave you with most of that because that's what I like about speed play. And um, what you definitely don't need though is a little bit of the heel out. You're not really needing that. So if we advance that further in, right? Remember what we said that right leg wants to come in. How does it feel? Fine. Yeah. Good. Do you like them? Yeah. I does it feel a lot more fluid than normal? Like, a, uh, remember the analogy of being on an ice cube? Maybe, but I think that's because of the float. Yeah. I don't think they feel. I don't know. I thought I was because you'd said that. I thought they were going to feel. That's great. Worse. Well, that, that 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 there is a very strong indication that you're going to get on well with them. So, for today, you've understood a little bit more about why I like speed play, uh, why they can be the pedal of choice for some people to remove knee pain, be more comfortable accommodate their biomechanics how they can be a bit daunting to set up but once you've done it a few times they're great because they have all the adjustability to accommodate some of those things we talked about it is a very different setup though to an ordinary uh, pedal system so why don't you leave any comments or questions you got that haven't maybe been answered to the level that you want them on there and we'll basically do another video where we answer all those Don't want to film that video.